Hi all, so welcome to the today's tutorial. So today we will cover a new topic called array. So it's the combination of a single type. So uh, let's imagine you do want to save a, a type of variable, let's imagine integer, but again and again, which is uh, you, you are not sure about its iteration. Let's imagine uh, you do want to save a series of you know variables integers float or, or a, a type of combination let's imagine uh, you are in a school so there are students so you will have their information stored right like name address age so you have to store this data again and again for all the students so this is why you usually use array so we will see how we can use it so go to the world setting I will choose the same class which we were using uh, from the starting the third person character so in the variables I will choose age array I will delete everything out so array as you can see uh, so it will uh, we already know like age it will be a type of integer so I will press integer and compile so right now it is a single value but to convert it in an array you just have to click it here and it will convert itself into the array so you can see in uh, right now we can just press you know plus and it will keep on adding the values for us so let's imagine I am putting some random numbers So let's imagine these are the ages. So how we will use the array? Let's imagine we do want to print the first age and or or, or the perfect example would be let's imagine if we do want to have the average age from the age group. How we will do that? So first we have to add all of the array numbers. Then we have to divide it from the count. So what we will do we will do the for loop we have already covered the for loop right so we will use the for loop here and so this is the array element at array index I will just add it to a variable and I will name it that variable called array addition addition so what I'm doing here as soon as it will start executing this for the first the index will start from 0 so it will go it will pick the 33 the initial value of that addition will be 0 so 0 plus 33 equal to 33 it will save it in the array addition it will again loop now the second value it will become 23 and in array addition it will be 33 that so will combine and it will keep on adding until uh, unless it is uh, you know it will cover all the variables here once it is completed we will just print out the addition array addition so it should not be that difficult for you just compile save and let's check 167 we are getting and this is perfect so your task is you have to create a function as we already know how to create a function which will take an array as the input and will give you the array addition so let's see how we can do that I will just cut and will create a function array addition to array addition compile and save what I will do I will remove the array addition compile and will uh, drag it here compile as you can see we have the input of the array type right now for the array addition I don't want to have because the, the variable which you are saying here this is the global variable like it will be visible everywhere inside this blueprint class I don't want that as we are inside a function so I will remove this and what I will do I will create a local variable local variable means addition 
so local variable means like this variable will only be visible inside this function to add addition so we are doing our type of optimization here compile and we'll do the same drill which we were doing it previously we'll save body as soon as it is done I will do the return and in the return I will write the addition compile and save so let's check it is all fine perfect so what we will do in the begin play just do a addition you can see like in input it is expecting an array so to create an array a uh, one thing is like you know you can create one variable like we did and you can create or at the runtime you can just you know make an array add some pins here and 10 22 44 and we will print the output you can see 76 which is perfect now let's see how we can do the same thing inside the C++ so here what we will do so the equivalent of array is the array in the C++ so T array in this here we have to define what type of array you do want like so we created the integer type there so we'll do the same here and we'll name it as some int array and you, you can you know uh, you can just save the array like this 13 14 or at the runtime, you know, you can just add some numbers to 34, and you can remove the data also. So, some int remove add, and you just have to pass the index, and it will remove the data from here. Okay, and here, what we have to do, we have to create one function which will write the addition of the array right so it's an integer type so we will do the addition it will give us the integer so int do addition of array and we will pass the array type of integer array so here what we will do for each or uh, you know for we will do the for loop as we have to do the addition here sure. sorry uh, it got distracted okay so here I will call this function to addition of array will pass this in array which we do have and I will save its value inside an integer int addition value and we'll print it out ue log log temp warning text percent d as it's a integer so addition value so let's see if it is fucking fine or not compile let me play go to the output it is saying 39 and if you will combine 12 13 five four nine yep it is 39 so this is how uh, we usually use t array you can you know create array uh, of type anything like integer string uh, or, or any combination which you want to use so this was the small introduction of array it is very very important to learn so and we will use the practical knowledge how we should use it inside the game once uh, we have covered once we will cover the basics 
so this was it for today thank you and have a nice day bye bye do like and subscribe bye bye